What's up guys, I turned this Pelican 1560 case into a field monitor system where I'd be able to go out and run just off of everything in this case so I don't have to plug into a wall or anything like that. And uh, I'll just go through kind of the steps that I did to get it there. Now this was something that I already had, like this case I already had, the monitor I already had, so it's not like I went out and got this stuff specifically for this project, but I more have had it laying around. And then I ended up spending a little bit more money to complete uh, the project. But this is the Pelican 1560 case. It's a really nice case, uh, dust proof, uh, has wheels on it, rollers. Cause this whole unit as it sits now weighs 34 pounds. So it's not exactly a very light uh, setup. So uh, it's got nice carrying handles here on the front and on the side. But anyway, let's jump in and look at the monitor. So here I have the monitor. This is a Dell S2240M. It's 21.5 inches, 1080 HD, uh, has VGA input on it. So I had to get an HDMI adapter. Uh, but anyway, how I mounted this, the case itself has uh, six little screw mounts where you could put a top lid organizer on here. Um, otherwise they have the foam. But anyway, those screws holes hold really well, so you can mount put mounting brackets on there. Now, what I did, uh, I went out to the shed. I happen to have these easy door hangers, which if you've ever hung a door, um, it can be a little tricky. Well, you use these to put on the door, and it helps you align the door, and you can basically hang it a lot easier. Well, these are easy to work with, and they're easy to bend, and they're easy to mount. And so what I did was I uh, just basically, now the monitor I have is not mountable whatsoever, so I had to remove the back panel, um, and then I actually mounted the easy hangers into the actual uh, screws that hold the display together on the inside, if that makes sense. And then I went ahead and cut around the corners, so that way I would have, um, I could still put the backing on it and you know just to kind of keep it all enclosed still and that's what i did and i used three different mounting spots two on the top on the corners and one on the bottom and it worked out perfect and i just used those screws and screwed it right in there and it holds fantastic like it holds very well um now what i did for this area here just put foam up there the foam here that comes with the actual monitor and i left these sides open for well it's kind of for two reasons uh one if i i guess if i did put foam in there it might look a little sloppy anyway but uh to allow ventilation this monitor actually sits off of the case a little bit so that allows it to ventilate and also i do want to get a uh, sunshade so you can just get better better clarity uh, on the picture so and this is the foam that actually came with the uh, case as well and i just put this on top to separate the screen uh, from all of the stuff underneath it. So we'll dive into underneath it here. And here is my HDMI to um, VGA. So that way I have it plugged in. I can also switch to uh, the RCAs. I think that's what they're called, yeah, RCAs. Um, because this also will work as a ground station, I have a clamp right here and then right here this is a fly sight diversity monitor which has two signals coming in so basically if i wanted to go uh, i could clamp this onto the top like so and then i can adjust this any which way i want and then i would feed this into uh the the RCA is right here and I could see uh, 5.8 gigahertz. But what I really wanted to do was to be able to fly it with the uh, the Phantom, DJI Phantom series. So I'd mirror my iPad to the screen itself. Uh, but any either way, I mean, you could hook up directly to uh, uh, HDMI in here. Also has a little audio port. And I'll put links to all the components I use in here in the description, so if you wanna check that out. So it's very simple to use. I uh, Got a APC, this is a CPU battery backup, basically surge protector. And what I like about this system is that I have this cord here, right? So I can plug this in at any time and run everything off 
AC power if I wanted to. You know, if I do have the power available. If not, then I can run everything you see here for an hour and 40 minutes. So I know it's not that long, but you can get quite a bit done in an hour and 40 minutes. So, uh, like I said, it has sound. I have a Bluetooth speaker in here. Uh, I thought about maybe putting some speakers in there, but any Bluetooth speaker will work and it has its own built-in battery, which is nice. And then I would just plug that in there. I can turn on the Bluetooth speaker. And I didn't adapt anything. I left all the, I took all the uh, components right down into here and they fit nicely. And then I just have the power cords that come out here and I plug them in like so. And then I just simply turn on the backup and I'm running uh, standalone right now. So this is all off the battery. And I like this because you can program it right now. It's set where uh, for, what is it? It will start beeping twice or every 30 seconds or so when you have about half a battery left. So at about whatever, an hour and 40 minutes, half of that is, I can't do the math right now. Anyway, okay, so this, my monitor basically turns on as soon as it gets power. And, oh, I forgot to mention also, what I like about here is it does have a spot for me to plug in uh, like a iPad, for instance, that I'm using here. And what I'm going to do, I have my Apple TV. That's the other cord I plugged in. So this one's for the monitor. This one is for the Apple TV. And that way, I can mirror what's on my Apple TV if I wanted to watch movies or whatnot. And I'll just go ahead and play a little video here. So give you a realistic about if I was going to be flying. Uh, let's see here. The sound's on. So all of it works, like I said, running like it is my test was where I was streaming to the Bluetooth or the uh, Wi-Fi of the Apple and I got an hour and 40 minutes. Uh, I do want to talk about the case just a little bit more because I did do some, uh, I'll actually just turn off the Bluetooth speaker here and I'll keep playing this so you can kind of watch the display as I'm talking, I guess. Um, but I reinforced all the padding on here uh, with 10 pound Velcro. So it's all, I put it all around the corners. Here it is on the sides. And what that does is this thing weighs, I think like around 7.5 pounds or eight pounds. And I wanted it to fit and stay in here. So, you know, it wouldn't bump the screen. That's what's really nice about these padded dividers too, is I could make the section just perfect and it vents here on the side. So it gets the venting it needs. And if I was really concerned about it, I could put Velcro on the actual APC itself and then Velcro it to the sides of the pad dividers. But I have Velcro, 10 pound Velcro on the bottom here. So this midsection is not coming out. And then if I want to turn this off, conserve battery, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm done here. I can just go ahead, turn this off. Should beep and then everything should turn off. Yeah, I didn't do it right. Let me try it one more time here. And boom, everything turns off. And then I can just unplug what I need to here. Unplug that. Like this. Take down the other monitor. This Fly Sky has a built-in battery too, so everything is self-sufficient. Like that, unplug the audio cord. And something else I did too here for these, I just put Velcro on them. So that sticks to the side of the case. So if you have other components, you can just put Velcro on them, works really good. And then if I wanted to run to a laptop off this, I could put this foam down right here and I could even run these cords out through the side. I didn't cut this foam. Uh, I could run them out cords here, there, set a laptop right on top of it all so it all seems to work out good um 
They do make a little bit bigger of a battery pack here, which I might get close to two hours and 15 minutes, which that's a pretty good uh, comparison, but then I gotta remember I'll add the weight. So uh, there you go, I'll put a link in the description to all this stuff, but it's just a case that I made and you can take it out on the field.